In this video we're going to talk about the roadmap planner and how you can use that one to create a overview of your project in a visual form. So let's jump into Confluence and see what the road planner is and how you can use it. So uh, as always let's start by making a page. So we we'll make a new page, call it the roadmap planner. And then we're going to use the roadmap planner. And this will pop up this view and it will start with two basic lanes and appropriately the Swedish colors in some Swedish and blue and yellow. And you will have three options up here. You can add a new lane and this will be a new row. You can add a new bar that is the content within each lane and you can add a marker like you have this one uh, so you can set for example different decision points. So when you add a lane it will pop up below and it will automatically just fetch a color that you haven't used before and if you click on the lane itself and uh, you can uh, add bars to it you can rename it and you can change the colors and you have a few predefined uh, colors that you can choose. So we can use purple for this one and we can uh, call it the uh, test link. And then we can add uh, a new bar to it. And the bars uh, you can drag and you can place them wherever you want. And at the end you can also stretch them out. So you can plan these together. And if you click on a bar then you can actually uh, create conference pages related to it. So you can create, for example, different projects, uh, different project pages, or you can have different requirement pages, or you can link to existing ones. And you can also add a description to it. And the markers, when you click it, we just add and you can drag it out wherever you want, and you can click it and you can edit the name. So in this case, it's the decision point two, for example. Uh, and the last thing that you can do is that you can change the view. By default it will show by month and you can change this to weeks and you can set a start date and an end date depending on how long your project is. So in this case for example it would be a three month. So there we go. And then I can just click insert here. This one will then insert into your conference page and just to make sure that this one it really fit on the page. Let's make this uh, a wide one. And now if I publish this one, it will display on the page and you can scroll this one uh, throughout the entirety of the project. And I see I made a mistake and I set this one to August 14th or something like that. So let's edit this one again. Uh, but before we do that, let's just show you. Uh, so if I click on a bar here, it will show the name and the description and will have the link page or the create page. So when we go in edit this one, you click on the macro itself, you get the pen or the removal below. And if you click the edit, it will go into this move mode again. So let's change this to 22, so it's the correct length. There we go. And now for the test, let's link this to a page. So let's just have this one to the page properties. And you will see that it will show a list based on what I'm, I have written there. So let's put it to that one and let's do a, this is the page. And perhaps type it correctly so it doesn't look bad. There we go. And now we insert this one again and I publish this one again. Now if I click on this one, first and foremost you will see now that this one will now be the correct length. And if I click on the bar here, you will see uh, the new bar, the name on it, the page properties, and this is the page. And if I click on this one, we will actually go to the page properties page. So this is how you can use the roadmap planner. And I know a lot of people are using this one to, when they start up a new project, and they use this one to do like a roadmap for it. So if you like this kind of content, feel free to subscribe to my channel because I will add more for Confluence, for Jira and for Jira service management in the future. And until then, I hope you have a really great day.